Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the table basics in Word. Tables are any arrangement of data in horizontal and vertical rows. You can use tables for grade books, uh, invoices, uh, months, calendars. So we'll be seeing some of them today. The first way to insert a table, I'll start a new paragraph and I'm displaying the non-printing characters just so you can see more clearly what's happening. These are in the home tab again and this button shows or hides them. So we'll go to insert a table to the insert tab, table and drag to insert the number of cells, the number of rows and columns that you want. So that's the first way to insert a table. Another way to insert the table is to go to insert table and select this insert table menu and it will take you to select how many rows do you want, I want 3 and how many columns, so I have 3 by 13 and this is another table which I can work with. And, uh, I'll also click outside the table and press on enter to keep some spacing. I can go to insert table and draw the table instead of inserting the number of rows and columns. So this is one cell. I click and hold and drag. So click, hold and drag. This is another cell. Click, hold and drag. This is another one. Click, hold and drag. So if you want to insert the table that's not evenly arranged, you can draw it this way. So these are three ways to insert a table. You can also go to the insert tab, click outside the table, and insert a predefined table from the quick tables. And you can insert calendars or some lists. So this is a predefined table. You can also go to insert table and insert an Excel spreadsheet, but I'll keep that to another video. So I'll start with filling this one. So I'll click inside the table so that my insertion point is in the cell that I want to fill. And I'll type here month. I'll press on tab to move to the next cell. So pressing on tab moves me to the next cell. And pressing on tab again moves me another time. So I can also use the navigation arrows, the up, down, left, right, to navigate the table. Or I can click inside the cell to enter info in it. So again, I'll click in this one, I'll type can, I'll press on tab to go to the next one, and here it is. And the revenue is 300. Then I'll press on tab again, it will take me to the next cell. If I go, want to go backward, I'll press on shift tab, so this will take me backward. Now, I filled my table, I want to format it, so I can click in the table and select this uh, arrow to select the whole table, or I can just click within the table. If I click within the table, I see the table tools design and the table tools layout uh, tabs appear in the ribbon. So I click on design and select a predefined format. So the first way to format our table quickly is to use styles. These are predefined formattings that we can use. Now when we apply a style, we can also select a special header row. So if I untick it, the header row will become like a normal row formatting wise. I can select banded rows, and these are the shades that appear uh, uh, to distinguish one row from its consecutive one. So these are banded rows. I can select a special first column or not, and I can select banded columns as well. This was a quick way to format uh, a table. I can also format manually, so I'll select this row and I'll shade it in red. Or this one 
I go to shading and go to green. Another way to format cells or rows is to right click on a cell, go to table properties and go to the table uh, tab because the other uh, tabs allow us to modify other aspects such as the rows uh, height and the column width. I'll go to borders and shading, select shading here and select a fill color that's this one and OK, OK. And since I've applied it to the whole table, the whole table took this color, so I'll undo it. I'll right click again, go to table properties. This time I'll go to borders and shading, select the purple color, and I'll apply it to the cell. OK, OK, this cell is shaded. I can do the same for the borders from the right click table properties dialog box or from the table tools design so I can select a red border with a six point width and apply it to the top of the cell. You can use the border painter just like you use the format painter so I click here, click on border painter and paint the border here and here. This one. You can also use the ruler to resize your uh, columns and rows. So this way you can resize. So using the horizontal and uh, vertical rulers. Again, if you don't see the ruler, go to the view tab and check ruler. You can also select the table, go to table tools layout and select auto fit and select the type of auto fit that you want. We want it to auto fit window and this way it will occupy the whole text area. You can move rows and columns so you can select a row and cut it then click underneath and insert below and you can paste the row that you cut here then delete this one. Right click delete cells and select delete entire row or you can go to table tools layout and delete rows it's the same so this way we move the rows and columns you have also the option to sort your information so i select the table and click on sort and i want to sort by by revenue and the type is number and in descending order and click on OK. This way it's sorted by revenue. You can modify other aspects here. You can uh, uh, select the alignment. So you can align uh, top left, you can align bottom left, you can align center center. So I'll select the whole table so you can see it. This is center center, this is top left, this is bottom left, and this is center right. You can distribute the columns so that they are evenly distributed. You can also click on cell margins to select the margins. So I'll add a right margin. I'll increase the right margin and click on OK. You can notice the difference. Again, I'll increase it more. So I click on cell margins and increase it further. OK, and you can notice that it increased. You can change the text direction, so I select the table and change the text direction. I can do it for this only. In today's video, we've covered the basics for tables. Thanks for watching.